If you wanna go live on YouTube using your smartphone, in this video, I'm gonna show you the best new free live streaming app that's available for both Android and iOS users, and it's also available for PC users. Now, the app I'm talking about today is called Prism Live Studio, and it's an absolute powerhouse of an app. As I mentioned, it is free, and by the end of this video, I want you to be able to live stream with this app. So I'm gonna open it up, and I'm gonna walk you through and show you the features that you need to learn first so you can get up and start live streaming with this app. But before I do that, I do wanna mention a couple of things that are very important that I wanna get out of the way first. Number one is if you have under 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, you can use this app to live stream. So if that's you, keep watching this video. Number two, you can multi-stream with this app. And this is huge because if you wanna multi-stream and send streams to different platforms, you can do it with this app and you don't have to pay anything for it. But it's important that you go read the terms and services of any platform that you wanna multi-stream to to make sure that you're not breaking any rules over there. Number three, Prism Live Studio allows you to stream up to 1080p. Now, if you've used other streaming apps in the past, you know that you've been limited to 720p. Well, now you have 1080p if your upload speed allows it. So if you have a fast internet speed, you can stream out at 1080p for that crispy live stream. Number four, Prism Live Studio isn't only a live streaming app. You can also shoot and edit your video inside of this app for free, and you can also shoot and edit your photos inside of this app. But for this tutorial, we're gonna focus on live streaming on YouTube. For the video and the photo feature, I'll cover those in future videos because they're definitely worthy of their own video. But for now, let's open up Prism Live Studio and let me show you the features that you need to know about so you can start live streaming. Now when the app first opens up, you're gonna see the interface. And by the way, I do wanna mention that you can use this app in either portrait mode or landscape mode, but for this tutorial, we're gonna use portrait mode. And the first thing I want you to look at is up in the top left-hand corner with those three little dots. And if I tap on that, it's gonna open up a little interface. And if you're in photo mode, you're gonna be able to turn the flash on and off and you can turn the mic on and off. Now, because I'm recording this with a screen recorder, I have to turn my mic off because the app wants to use my mic. And when we get into the actual live streaming portion, I will turn this back on. You can turn the camera on and off and you can view in full screen like I'm doing right now. If I wanna go off of full screen, I simply toggle that off or I can toggle it right back on. Underneath that, you're gonna see flip front facing camera. Now what this does is it literally rotates your camera. I know you've seen people live streaming before where maybe the logo on their shirt or things on the wall is actually backwards. What this does is if you have an image and here's one of our Nimenati stickers, if you have something that is backwards, you tap on that and it's gonna spin it around so everything looks right in your live stream. I'm gonna turn that right back off. Underneath that, you have save video after streaming. If you toggle that on, what's gonna happen is after you've finished your live stream, it's gonna take your live stream and turn it into a video and save it into your gallery. But I'm gonna close this up by tapping on the three dots again. Now, over to the right of that, you're gonna see that little recycle button. That's gonna switch the cameras on your phone. Currently, I'm using the selfie cam, but if I wanted to use a higher quality camera, use the back facing camera, I'm gonna tap on that and use the back facing camera. But for this tutorial, I need to see what I'm doing so I know what I'm pointing at, so I'm using the selfie cam. Over to the far right, you see the profile image. And if I tap on that, it's going to open up where you see live and video. Now these are assets that I've used in previous live streams and it saves them here. And this is also recordings of live streams that I've recorded. But if I wanna delete one of these, I look at the three little dots on the bottom right hand corner. I tap on that, go down to the bottom and I tap on delete and it's gone. Now next to my name, you're gonna see a little gear icon. If I tap on the gear icon, it's gonna open up even more settings. Right at the top, you see my account. If you tap on my account, you can log out or you can delete your account, but you don't wanna do that. So we're gonna back up and go down to live settings, stream destinations. If I tap on stream destinations, this is where you can connect all of the platforms that you wanna stream out to. I'm currently connected to YouTube. That means if I hit the ready button to go live to start streaming, I'm gonna immediately start streaming out to YouTube. But if I also had Periscope connected or Naver TV, I would start streaming out to them at the same exact time. This is where you multi-stream. But for this tutorial, we're just gonna keep YouTube selected. Backing out of this, heading down to video settings, video resolution, I'm currently set at 720p. But if I tap on that, I can go all the way up to 1080p if I have a fast internet upload speed, or if my internet speed is slower, I can take it down to 480p or even 360p. I'm gonna leave it at 720p for this video. 
backing out of there and underneath video settings, you see general. Now my notifications are currently off and underneath that you see conceal watermark. And what this means is that if you do not want the prism watermark on your stream or your video, you can remove it by activating notifications. You don't have to pay any money, it's absolutely free, but they do wanna send you notifications. So if you toggle that on, you can see I get a message that say notifications are turned off. Prism Live cannot send notifications, turn on notifications in the device settings to remove the watermark. To get out of this area, tap on the X on the top right corner, then tap on the X once again to get back to the live streaming screen. Now, if you look down at the very bottom, you're gonna see three words. You're gonna see live, video, and photo, and you're gonna see a yellow dot on top of the word live. That means we're using the live streaming feature. However, if I wanted to swipe over to video, that would activate the video feature. And if I wanted to swipe over once again to photo, that would activate the photo feature. And like I said before, I will make videos on these in the future, but for now, let's go back and focus on live streaming. Now let me show you how you can add some effects to your live stream. And this is also where you add text, you can add stickers and emojis, and you can actually use your finger to draw on your screen, and that's gonna show up on your live stream while you're broadcasting. Really cool feature. And to get to those, you're gonna head down to the bottom left hand corner and tap on that little pencil icon. If you open up that, it's gonna open up a bunch of cool features that you may or may not wanna use while you're live streaming. So let me tap it and open it up and show you what they do have. Now, the first row that you have here, these are things that you've used in the past. It does remember them. For example, for fun, I've done something like this or this. And I've even actually worn some sunglasses like this, but you can also add some really cool effects like a VCR mode or maybe an RGB mode or something like this. This may or may not work for your particular live stream, but it is something that they do have built in. And if you look down at the far bottom, you're gonna see another row of icons. You can tap on those and you can add other emojis. You can add frames. You can add smiley faces. Now, each time you tap one of these, it will load something different. I can tap that one once and it shows that. I can tap it again <laughs> and it's gonna load that. There's my thumbnail right there. Tap it again and it's gonna add that and so on and so forth. You get the idea. To the right of that, these are animated stickers. So if I tap on one of these, say you have someone watching your live stream and it's the birthday. Well, you can load up the happy birthday sticker. You tap on that and it says tap on screen. So wherever on the screen you tap, it's gonna show happy birthday. And they have a bunch of really cool animated stickers for that. Moving to the right is a really cool feature, and this is the drawing feature. Now, right at the bottom, you see you have a bunch of color options. I'm gonna choose yellow, and then I'm gonna change the pin size by tapping right here. And this is a different type of pen tool. You can have a standard pen tool or you can have a glow. Now, I'm not an artist, and I'm not gonna to try to draw something on here with a tutorial, but I am just gonna scribble just to give you an idea of what you can actually do. And I think this is a really cool feature, especially if you can draw or you wanna write something on your screen, this will broadcast whatever you scribble live to whatever platform you're streaming to. That is a really cool feature. To the right of that is a text feature, and this is pretty self-explanatory. You can come in and you can type in whatever you want. Let's type that in. You can change the font, you can change the size. You can put a background behind it and when you're finished, just type done and you can touch it and move it anywhere you want on the screen while you are live streaming. Now, one really cool thing about this is if you have a website you wanna send people to or just something that you wanna say or advertise, you could type your full website in and use that so that shows up here. You don't have to just say, hey, like I did. And if you wanna get rid of it, simply tap on it and then hit the X or you can make it larger or you can shrink it down or just hit the X and it's gonna go away. Now, in terms of pinching and zooming, if I tap right here in the center, it's gonna expose on my face. I can also pinch and zoom with my fingers and it will zoom in just like this. Now, those are features that you may or may not like. That's entirely up to you, but here's something else that you can do. If you look on the far right side, you're gonna see an icon with three little circles on it. If you tap that, it's gonna open up filters. And the way the filters work, it works just like Instagram or any other app with filters. You can go back and forth and find filters that you like and just tap on it and see what it looks like. Once you find the right settings of the one that you want, simply look down at the bottom, tap on done, and then tap on the screen again, and then you're gonna have that filter applied to your live stream or video. But I know you didn't come here to just learn about the filters and the emojis, you wanna learn how to actually go live. So we're gonna hit that ready button down at the bottom. I'm gonna go live and I'm gonna show you how the chat works and I'm gonna show you how to add photos and videos to your live stream. So let me hit ready down at the bottom and start live streaming.
Now, the first thing you notice when I hit the live button is it takes you to another area. And here it says prism stream test. That's gonna say something different for you. That's what I wrote in mine. And you're gonna have your name, your channel name there, and it's gonna say public and it's gonna show you what resolution you're live streaming at. So let's start with the title. And for YouTube, this is gonna be your YouTube title. So if I tap on that, I can go back and I can add any title that I want. So let's just say prism YouTube test, and then I hit done. And by the way, it also shows you how many characters you have left. So I'm gonna tap on done, and this is gonna be the title of your YouTube stream. Now underneath that is my name, and if you see public, if I tap on that, I can send it to public where everyone can see it, I can unlist it, or I can send it private, but for this particular tutorial, we will go public. So I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna tap on okay. And then we're gonna stream out at 720, but if you wanna change that at the last minute, you can do so here. Right at the top, you see adaptive bit rate. And what that means is, it means the bit rate will adapt to your network connection. So if your internet's a little bit slow, the app will help push your signal up. And that's a really cool feature. It's on for this particular stream, but if I turn it off, you're gonna see all the features down at the bottom that are now gonna be able to be changed. So of course you can change your resolution here, you can change your bit rate, so if you wanna push up a higher quality, you can do it here. This is set for 4,000, but you can set it all the way up to 6,000. Underneath that, you can have your frame rate, you can do 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second. Underneath that is keyframe interval, you can tap on that, and it kinda of helps keep everything synced. I'm gonna close this off, I'm gonna hit OK. And of course you still have at the bottom, you still have your emoji areas and all the effects that you wanna to add to your stream, or you have filters if you wanna change that at the last minute. And you simply close this by hitting this little down arrow right there. Now, when you're ready to go live, you simply hit the go live button. And we're gonna do that right now. Okay, so now we are live using Prism Live Studio. And you notice we had a countdown, three, two, one, to start the live stream. And it also told us which orientation our phone was in. So now I started this in landscape. That means I have to finish it in landscape. I can't turn it to portrait mode and things are not just gonna flip over. Things will get sideways if that happens. Now all the stickers and emojis, those are down in the far left with the little pencil icon. Of course, your filters are there in your center. And when people come into the chat, you wanna look over to the far right-hand side to the little chat icon. You tap on that and it's gonna open up your keyboard. And this is how you can reply to people when they come into your chat. Now, of course, up here at the top, your settings are still here for the microphone on, save the video after streaming and so on. All this stuff is exactly the same. But up here in the center, you're gonna see the red box and this tells you how long you've been live streaming. And next to it is the little person with the zero. That means no one is watching my live stream right now. If people come in here, you're gonna see that number changed based on how many people watch the live stream. Now, here's something else that's really cool. If you wanna add a video or a photo or even music, you can swipe over and you go into the studio portion. So if I wanna add a video, I simply tap on video and I can go through and I can find a video to show on the live screen. So I've added the one video and when I want it to go onto my screen, I simply load it into my studio and I tap it and it's gonna show up on my screen. Now people can see this right now. So if I tap on it and I move it around, I can also pinch and zoom and resize it and you notice a play button that's right in the center. So if I tap that play button, it's gonna play the audio that's associated with the actual video file. Let's do that. So what's happening? Um, right now we are going to <laughs> another one of the houses. All right, you get the idea there. So now if I wanna delete this, I just tap on the X and it goes away. You can do the exact same thing with music and photos. You can swipe back, you can go through your music selection, and they do have music built in, but you'll need to download those before you go live. And you can also access the music on your device, but make sure you actually have the license to use those before you live stream with this, you don't get a copyright strike or a copyright claim. I'm gonna cancel out of that. And then you see here down on my studio, I have a video. You can load this up with as many video or photo assets as you want. And if you wanna delete them, simply tap on edit over here on the right, tap on the file you wanna delete, and then tap delete, remove source. And then we're gonna swipe back to the main screen and continue live streaming. And you can do all of this stuff while you're live. And this can be a lot of fun if you're trying to make an interactive live stream. So as you can see, there are three people now in the chat right now. And if I wanna to reply to them, I go to the bottom right hand corner and I tap on the chat icon and I can reply. And then as you reply, your own reply is gonna show up on the screen as well. So when it comes time to end your live stream, all you have to do is go up to the top right hand corner and tap on the end button, and it's going to end your live stream. And that's what we're gonna do right now.
If you wanna learn more about live streaming on YouTube with your smartphone, or maybe you wanna make content with your phone or just be a mobile YouTuber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.